All right, what's up guys? I figured I'd make a little update video explaining what happened and what's all done to my bike and what I broke and then what I did to my gear and stuff. And let you guys know what caused the crash. All right, so here's what happened to the bike. I got some scratches on the front fender. The pipe is pretty scratched up on both sides. Uh, the plastics on the back are a little bit scratched. Not too bad though. The subframe is slightly, slightly bent. My tires are got, went a little bit bald and the knobbies are peeling off. That's not from me riding on the road, so that's from the crash. And then the bars are pretty bent. These clamps right here, I think I had the bars off, so that's why these bolts are loose and everything. But I think the clamps are okay, they just got twisted a little bit. And then my clutch lever actually got bent back into place. It's still a little bit bent, but it was bent a lot worse. And then when I crashed, it actually bent it back into place. That's kind of funny. And the grip's a little messed up. And the last thing is my radiator's bent. I can't quite tell if the radiator's really bent. It doesn't look like it's too bad, but the guard is bent. What's happened to the bike? It's not too bad. Sorry, I messed up the clip. I was filming my knee braces, so that's why I'm inside now. So as far as the gear goes, this is what my knee braces are looking like. The left one's fine, and then the right one got cracked right there where my shin is. The My shin's pretty bruised up, so it's a good thing I had that on, or else I probably would have broke it. And then that strap right there is broken. Must have, I don't know how I snapped that. Basically all that strap does is kind of hold the knee brace in place, so. I'll have to get a new right knee brace. And the helmet's just a little scratched up. I didn't really hit my head. I don't think I got knocked out or anything. I didn't have a concussion. I think I just slid on. I think it just skidded for a while or whatever. And I checked all the foam and everything inside. Nothing smashed down, so it's good to wear. Just adds a little bit of character and a story. And then what happened when I crashed is when I came over that second hill... A lot of people think I was leaning a little bit too forward and my forks weren't a little bit compressed and all that. But that's not actually what happened. What happened is I was gripping the bike hard too. Like I'm always gripping the bike really hard with my knees so I don't get arm pump and everything. And I came over that little second heel and my feet immediately got knocked off the foot pegs. And as before I hit the ground and everything kind of got all crazy, you could see I was looking down at the handlebars. And when I was looking down at the handlebars, my feet were almost over my head. So I know something kicked me. My friends went back yesterday to look and they said they could see a rock because there's a lot of layers of rock out here. And a layer of rock kind of chipped up and caught one of my knobbies. And what happened was it kicked my back end up because the rock kind of folded on its side or straight up and down or whatever. And that's what caused my back end to kick up like that so quick. And then I ended up rolling about 50 feet to 40 feet from where I first fell off at. In the clip where I was videoing my bike and everything where it was laying down, I was actually about 10 feet ahead of where my bike was off to the side a little bit. And I got the air knocked out of me pretty good, but I remembered to put my hands over my head and I think that helped a little bit. It kind of felt like it came down to me pretty quick. And so then when I was walking back to where my mom came to pick me up, uh, my finger was dislocated, but I was able to pop it back into place because my hands were completely numb. They were numb for about two hours. And then I was getting pretty bad chest pains, and I figured I'd better not tough that one out, because if it was my arm or leg or something, I'd probably just wait maybe a day or two, and if it didn't start feeling better, I might go get it checked out. But I figured with my chest, I better go get it checked out because I could have punctured a lung or anything. Because right where I hit is right where my lungs are. So I went to the hospital, got a CAT scan, x-rays, all that. And I ended up getting super lucky. I didn't do any damage to me except for my bones. I've got bruised bones all the way from my shoulders down to my shins. I think I've got like six bruised bones or whatever. And then all my muscles are pretty messed up. So I'll have to go to the chiropractor a few times. And then the part that hurts the most is my chest because that's the part that I hit the hardest. And then the last thing that I want to say is that I've already got like four videos filmed that I hadn't finished editing and I haven't uploaded. So I'll upload those. Uh, 
the one you'll see after this video, I'll upload it tomorrow, will be the one where my friend broke his collarbone. That'll be a two-part video. So I'll upload one tomorrow, and then I'll upload the second part the next day. Both, both of the videos are about 15 minutes. For some reason, YouTube doesn't let me upload over 15 minutes or whatever. And then I have two more videos filmed after that. So I think maybe in a month I'll be riding again, and then if I get an opportunity to, I'll go and film my friends and stuff for you guys. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.